and now I've done it. Justin at 430, the power back on in a security wide field in a neighborhood there after a massive house fire. The flames spread to nearby homes before being put out. News 5's Laura Wilson near the house that started it all. So Laura, what are uh, the fire investigators saying this afternoon? Yeah, well, we're actually uh, right in the backyard of this house. I, I want to show you it first just to get an idea. This is from the backyard. Neighbors told us we should be looking from here because you can just see the total destruction. And as we said, the flames uh, did spread nearby, but this could have been so much worse. Let me show you how close this is to the structure in Mike Thompson's backyard. You can see this is charred. There's some burnt edges on top, but he says the wind actually worked in his favor, kind of pushed this away. Now, what we know so far is uh, the home was fully engul engulfed, excuse me, by flames. By the time crews arrived, the footage we're showing you right now is from around 430 this morning. When we talked to neighbors, they said that the the flames were going up, you know, 20, 25 feet. They said it was terrifying to look at. A lot of people in the area were concerned this was going to spread to their homes. They weren't quite sure what to do. Now, fortunately, firefighters were able to knock this down. We're told they did a fantastic job out here containing it and just keeping it to this home. Uh, Fountain's electric department made the call to temporarily shut off power in the area uh, when they were tackling the fire because they said it was actually threatening power lines. Fortunately, they were able to restore power around 1045 this morning. Now Black Hills Energy as we speak is going door to door and uh, turning the gas back on for these neighbors. You look over here, you'll see that is a brand new gas meter. Uh, so still some work to be done here in the neighborhood. What we don't know yet is what the cause of the fire was and we have not been able to confirm whether or not there were any injuries. We will continue to follow this story for you both on air and online at KOAA.com. Zach,